Hey guys, Crewman here, and this is going to be the quickest, most efficient, and simplest guide to get you up and mining flux on your GPUs using Hero Miner's Miner Pool on HiveOS. The only assumption this guide makes is that you are familiar with HiveOS and you already have it installed on your GPU mining rigs. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Flux's website, runflux.io. I'll have a link down below. And then you're going to want to click on Zellcor. And then you're going to want to download Zellcor. Now, Zellcor is a fantastic wallet, and I highly recommend it. So once you download Zellcor, you're going to want to get your receiving wallet. And then once you have that address, you're going to want to go back to HiveOS and set up a flight sheet. And I'm going to show you a quick and easy way on how to do that right now. Okay, so this is what your finished flight sheet is going to look like. So let's show you how to get from step one to here. First, you wanna to go to, go to flight sheets and then you wanna create a new flight sheet and it's gonna look like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to the coin tab and scroll down until you see flux and select flux. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go to the add wallet tab and it's gonna look like this. You're gonna to wanna to put your Zellcore receiving address under the address tab, the name of your wallet, and then you can leave the source blank. That's totally up to you, but I always leave it blank. Next, for step four, you're gonna to go, to go to select pool, and then you're gonna to wanna to select hero miners. And let me explain to you why I like hero miners. All right, so one of the things about mining pools, the dilemma is, do you take the pool that has the most hash rate, or do you try to spread the hash rate around and get less coin? I like to take the largest pool that's not close to 51%, and Hero Miners is at 35%, so you don't have to worry about a 51% attack on the network. So you're helping to secure the network, and you're maximizing your pool rewards by using Hero Miners. So I highly and strongly recommend Hero Miners. Now, I do have to tell you that they are sponsoring this video, but it's clear as day why you should use them. They are the largest pool on the network and they are not close to a 51% attack. So you, they also have an incredibly easy interface to use. And when you go on their website, flux.herominers.com, everything is laid out how to get started. It shows you what stratum you need to pick and it shows you exactly what you need to do to get going. And then all you have to do is enter your mining address right here and you're good to go. And one of the things I really, really like about this is it will show you how much you've mined that day, how much you were projected to mine the next week, month, and year. And it will show you what you mined the day before as well. So it does give you very good and accurate statistics. And another thing I like is you can enter your email address if you choose to, this is totally optional. And if any of your rigs go down, Hero Miners will shoot you an email. When you're on the website, you're gonna to wanna to look at the stratum that is best for you. And for me, it's USA East. So when I go to pool and I select hero miners, I will pick US East because like I said, that's the best one for me. Then after you select your pool, you're gonna wanna go to your miner. Now for Nvidia, Mini Z is the best. So I recommend using Mini Z and it's also a very good one for AMD as well. So you're gonna wanna select Mini Z. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna click on extra config parameters and you're gonna to wanna to make sure all the red boxes are highlighted. If on your extra config parameters, any of these three boxes look different than what you have here, go ahead and make sure they match this. For the hash rate algorithm, you're just gonna pick one, two, five, comma, four, and then if on the under the wallet and worker template and the pool server, if they don't say what says on here, you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and type it out exactly like that, and you're good to go. As far as the extra config parameters, it really doesn't matter, you can just leave that there. I looked up what that did and I never found it in the miner. I just left it and it didn't affect anything. So you can either delete it or keep it. It's totally up to you. And finally, let's talk quickly about overclocks. So the quick and dirty on flux, and I'm just gonna go with the 3070 because 30 series are by far the most used mining GPUs right now, is I went for more efficient clocks as I think efficiency is more important right now. And even in the bull run, I think efficiency is the most important. So I used a 270 core offset, I used a 1470 core lock, and then I used a 5001 memory lock. And I got 61.1 one five souls and that's a little bit less than the 72 souls that they're getting for about 150 watts but in my opinion i believe that efficiency is more important than a few extra souls as you're getting the majority of them we're talking 50 watts for 12 souls not worth it in my opinion so let's show you how this thing is actually mining on my 3070 test bench using these overclocks here's an rtx 3070 on my test air bench 
mining flux. You can see we've got the PMD on just the GPU, just so you guys can see the accurate power. And then you've got the test rig right over here. And you can see we're getting about 61 souls. So a little bit less than the numbers on hashrate.no. More efficient, if you ask me, as we're not using that much power. It is jumping a little bit, but not too, too much. So that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll have links to all of this down below. And thank you to Hero Miners for sponsoring this video. They are my recommended flux pool of choice. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one. Crew man out.